Well, hello there, you lovely people, and welcome back to Scandinavia in SnowRunner, where today we're doing some missions that open up more cargo options, I guess, starting out with warehouse repairs. So, oh, what am I doing? I, I figured last time, yeah, I could just drive straight across this. We are in the Tatra T813, another truck that I have not driven in a very long time. And we are driving north, not to make some metal beams, not yet, but to get some metal rolls. I suppose I could have had a trailer, but I figured uh, I would just do it this way. So why not? Again, yeah, it's been a long time since uh, I've really had a, a pop around in this old thing. I like it very much so. Uh, it's Got, what is it? It's like a, is it a built-in advanced special gearbox? I can't remember. Either way, it doesn't, you know, you can just engage your wheel drive and just have it on. It's good stuff and a nice healthy roof rack. So yeah, we're just heading north to the, the warehouse we've used before that had, what was it, like the concrete block? So we're going to grab the two metal rolls out of there, head back to the garage. Uh, because that is what the service trailer there is for. And then deliver those to the warehouse in need. And then we'll go and get the metal beams. And yeah, that's just a nice, easy, straightforward mission. So I've got my Ace of Spades. I've got my Walrus. I've got my bits and pieces. Um, this is being recorded probably about 15 minutes after I spent two hours doing all the bridges and Roblox. So... It's a bit of a snow runner marathon day today, as uh, as I'm going on holiday this, well, when this comes out, I think I'll actually be back from holiday. So this, <laughs> this is being recorded over a week before I go on holiday. So yay, getting things done so there's no gap in stuff. So yeah, apologies that there haven't been any live streams, I've been on holiday. I think we do actually have to go up there at some point and uh, build that sign. The letters in grey and black doesn't really work. Not really. Right. Up into here. I think there are only two. Bricks. Metal rolls. I don't, I don't know why the window closed. That was, that was a little odd. Right, so I'm going to head back to the garage. Because we've got to pick up the service trailer. It's literally, it's the one part as you, as you come out. That is mission based. That's why you don't get any XP when you go near it. So I'll see you in a jiffy. Oh, the little barriers are gone. Entirely. Well, that makes that easier. Wow. That was barely a speed bump. Excellent stuff. As you can see, little magnifying glass there. Like, this is the item you need. So, yeah, might not be the fastest on the road, but it is a big holster. So, the warehouse we're going to repair is not far from the uh, Eastern Gateway. Just past the petrol station. So we grab this bad boy. All right, let's rock and roll. As so we very quickly get back into up into fourth and fifth gear. I think we'll take we'll take the scenic route, which geographically is actually the shorter route, but it might take me a bit longer. Uh, you know, I've driven this road quite a lot in the past overall three hours now. Uh, <laughs> yeah! So I've made some going a different way. And you can't stop me. So this is, this is the quick way to the other map. Um, if you haven't built any bridges or cleared any roadblocks, pretty much. So it does get a little bit deeper. You can see there's some water ahead. Uh, 
fine. I'm not going to go for that bit. I'm going to, if I can, turn right. You can see just little tracks. Uh, just to the right of this trailer, the scout trailer you have to rescue at some point. Despite its size, that is actually an off-road scout trailer. So we'll get through here. Obviously, the trailer is going to slow us down. Come on, Tatra. Yeah, that's a proper horn. It's part of the Tatra pack. Definitely a worthwhile grab for two little Tatra. Well, one little Tatra, one big Tatra. Ah! Nearly missed the road. So you're cutting out basically going around this mountain. Now, again, there's another little divergence. You can go left there, but I'm fine with just going right. It's maybe a little bit more wet, but I mean, wet mud is wet mud. It doesn't matter which way you cut it. Just ease off a little bit, so just not wheel spinning. Can we speed up a little bit? Mm, not really, but well, that's fine. You know, we're hauling a trailer that effectively has highway tires, so it's doing nothing for itself to get through mud. Oh, what if we have powered trailers? Oh. Oh, that'd be good. That'd be real useful. So what the Mega Movers use where they're sort of remote control dollies and they can drive in all independently. Be really helpful. I doubt that's coming in SnowRunner though. In fact, I would put money on it not coming to SnowRunner. There we go. It sounds a bit like a washing machine on the edge there. As we climb up the road. Yeah, beastie. There's the fuel station. So we're heading past that. And I think it's got to be the next right after the fuel stop. Nordmus gasoline. Yeah, that's what they call it in Scandinavia. Gasoline. It's not. No, it's, it's not. souls on nord moose <laughs> uh, unique name i'm not gonna go through that big puddle i'm gonna go this way oh my God, such such good turning angle it does make a weird sound in high gear so then we'll drop these off Oh, I've got to go through, uh... Oh no, I should have stayed left. What am I doing? Then we've got to go and get a metal beam. I told you there's a lot of metal beams required. Oh, why didn't I go that way? Maybe I, I didn't see it soon enough. I'm not sure what this um, gives us access to, but... It better not just be like, oh, it's wooden planks. All right. I'm assuming this will just vanish. No. Okay. So now I've just got to kind of leave it in the way or something. They used to vanish, or at least, you know, some things vanished. All right. Ah, uh, we'll just leave that there. Right, and for the, you know, there's no point, I'm just going to go back past the garage anyway, so I'm just going to recover. Keep using the same truck, there's no point me just driving back for the sake of it. Obviously, if you're playing, playing along in hard mode, 
Obviously, you probably would just drive back because recovery is expensive. So, once again, I'm actually I'm still in the same session as the recording for the Bridges and Roblox. So, although I have changed maps, so I will in fact have to turn on the generator again. My favourite. But um, yeah, I'm glad to discover that I don't have to go through the mud and I can just do this. With it, well, obviously with enough ground clearance before the front wheels. As of seven, might just be able to do it. But it's going to struggle on the other side of the map though, isn't it? In reality. Look at that. Oh, that turning circle. So good. All right. Obviously, you would not do that in a real vehicle. Turn it on. Detach. Ordinarily, it probably wouldn't wheel spin either. Just, ah! Even when you're just setting off. Hit the brakes. Uh, create one metal beam, please. And then load me up. All right, you've seen the drive, so we'll zip to me arriving at the warehouse. Okay, we're back, and we're gonna we're gonna dive left with our superior handling frame. Dash over the snow, and only have to go through a little bit of water before we get into the finish line. Come on, Tatra! Yeah, right. What do we get? What surprise? The warehouse is now available. Concrete blocks, unlimited amounts. Cement, three. Concrete slab, unlimited amounts. Concrete blocks. Okay, two sources of concrete and a limited supply of cement. That's pretty handy dandy. Okay, so while I'm actually in this area, I'm gonna do reconnaissance. All I've gotta do to get to the first area is cross the river. So, it says the scout is recommended, but it looks like a fairly ordinary trail. So, I don't know, let's find out. So it's going to be a bit of a drive to get to the first area. It's six, six points to get to. I might as well just put in the diff lock. Water offers a lot of resistance for trucks in, well, water. So you might as well consolidate your pushing power, minimize wheel spin. Right, so we're out of there. We can just punch it. Yeah, come on, power. Uh, sometimes, sometimes automatic is a bit better though. You've got to use the gear that is best suited for your situation. Not just auto is bad, high gear is good or, you know, only use high gear in X. Nah, no, use whatever's appropriate. Right, da -da 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 -da. let's get back on the ground and get back into auto, get some speed going. Do I want to go that way? Am I, nope, I'm just continuing on. That's a different mission over there. Uh, I might change these exhausts because they're just... They put out too much smoke for my liking. I think they, 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 they cloud up the viewing experience. They really do. Right, so bear left. There's the old drop-off. Right, that's... Right, come on, avoid the water. Yeah, hey, hey. pretty much did that. So we're going to hit, well, I think it's six checkpoints. There's another one of these missions in By the Lake, but it requires you building that wooden bridge, which also required uh, one set of long logs. Okay, so we're going to get started. 
Okay, yeah, stage complete. This is uh, the pro level walkthrough. Come on, Trundle. Trundle Copter. I mean, we're getting there. It's, it's good enough pace. Unless it gets really narrow later. I don't know why it's a scout recommended. Nothing too narrow. If it was, you know, through a narrow forest path, then maybe. But it isn't. Plus, the scouts would be like, oh no, trees! Whereas this thing was, ha ha, trees! As it plows over them. And we've got some mud in the flatbed to get the jet wash out later. Clear that up. Get the orange shining brightly once more. Okay, that's the third area done. Ooh, we don't want to go up this bank too much, because we'll end up rolling over. That's where the scouts will have their advantage. I suppose you could have this semi-active, accept it, and then, you know, the points, I think, are then on the map. Although, I believe you do have to go through them in order anyway, so... It's okay. Right, so we're heading down the hill now. Oh, speed. Ah, oh, it's a bank curve. It's like the Nürburgring, but it's made out of dirt. The Dirtberg Ring. Yeah, nailed it. Uh, is that... Is that just a road? Oh, that's the road that heads to the back to the mill. I don't really know what we're doing reconnaissance for. But, I mean, we've done it, pretty much. <laughs> it's pretty straightforward. Easy money, contract's done. Yeah, just because of the twin exhausts and they're outrolled, it's like I'm just driving through fog all the time. Ta-da! Yeah, I can imagine why that only... Gives you two grand. What I am going to do, though, is go and do the other one. Come on. Nice. Right, three-point turn. Not needed. Turning the rod complete. So I'm going to head to by the lake. So I'll see you in a moment. Okay. A cliffside road. We're in the very north of the map. Heading up to where we were dropping off wood. And this is it's the same kind of mission as, as reconnaissance. So we're just gonna use this big hoaxster. To uh I don't know, this was helps us explore a bit. Teaches us how to drive uphill off the road. I don't know. I, I feel like these two contracts are a bit filler. They don't I don't know. I haven't seen whether or not they actually unlock anything. A lot of contracts have prerequisites when they're locked off. So, yeah, whatever. But, you know. Uh, what? Oh, an enormous boulder popped out of the ground. Very realistic. I, I don't want to drive in the tracks because they're immensely deep. Crap. There we go. Just drive on the side of the road. I mean, it you know, makes it seem like people drive up here all the time. They cut really deep, but it would not it just wouldn't be the case. But yet here, nothing. Somebody with the uh, the digging tool did uh, too much terraforming of the ground. A bit too trigger happy with a landscaper. Well, the second area is pretty far from the first.
Does it give us some nice views at least? Not at the moment. We're nestled between two hills. We've got some we've got some ice blocks. Okay. Alright, this ground is just awful. Just difficult under the wheels. Come on, over you get. What is it? It's like it keeps catching on something. What's going on? Or is the... What? Is the ground just... Oh, is it Doom Pity? No real reason for me to have to slow down there, but it, I did. I don't... You might have seen that the, the truck was just jerking forwards. Not very usual behaviour. Right. More ice. How much is this gonna? Ah, uh, yeah. It's gonna just gonna fly out of the ground as as ice does when you go near it. It it waits. It lures you into a false sense of security before pouncing, like a cat. God, at least the sun's... I, I must be playing... For me, it must be uh, peak summer, because it never goes dark. Funny that. The summer, the midnight sun. There we are at the next part. Oh, that's, that's quite a nice look down the hill there. Mm, very nice. It's bigger. All right, the fourth area. Another water crossing. Hooray. With a, a much random, just deep bit. There we go. I, I mean, I'd be a bit reluctant to bring a scout through here, to be honest. If you didn't have a snorkel, you'd be, you'd be dead in the water. Alright, bombing into the snow. Yeah, get that gearbox working hard. Probably about 4,000 degrees in the center of the truck. Come on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, see? Ah, oh, you see the turning? It's just so good. Not a, not a mission for the Kenworth. Right, where are we going next? Uh, looks like we're turning right. I'm going to take a shortcut. Oh, oh. I, w I, no, I, I wussed out. And it's also meant that I could take the corner properly. Come on, up you climb. You can do it. I believe. Just, yeah, mostly skip out the water and... Oh, we're going through some water. I suppose could I have just gone that way? I could have done. At least we've got rocks to drive over. Comfy, comfy rocks. So if you like rock crawling in your scouts, yeah. As long as you don't, you know, as long as you have a snorkel. Is this is the sixth area the last one? This is the bridge we built. It's it's straight, it's level, it's not yeah, it's not angled. Great job. Ok. 
Okay, radio, and I think this is the last one. Da -da. Oh no, there, oh, there is a seventh. It's like the Star Wars films. Everybody thought the sixth one was the last one. Then they made seven, eight, and nine. Right, is this gonna be the end? It is, da da. The route was more challenging than I thought. But, but I'm an ace driver, that's right. I used an eight wheel drive monster. All right, next up, this is gonna be a bit of a, a, a random one. But we're back in the Vorandi, because it's got a little saddle. Um, we're gonna do the Lost Trailer mission. Um, some of these do just kind of seem a bit filler. This, so this is a contract, and it's just to bring the step deck semi-trailer to the garage. But that's that's it. Uh, yeah, it doesn't. It, I mean, it might unlock something in the future, but that isn't obvious right now. <laughs> so we're going to do that one, and then we will do the the movie trailer, the special movie trailer one. We'll do that. So, right, we're going to... Oh, this is going to be... Basically, I'm doing all this road stuff twice. So we're going to... Oh, ah! Ow! So I think this is the first time this specific trailer has been like in a map, regardless of you know being part of the mission, which is uh, which is all right. I I don't find I don't, know, I don't find it particularly like, aesthetically like nice. So I I never ever ever use it. Um, I mean the rear wheels are quite far apart. So that's not great. It's not great for the wear and tear for like handling. You might as well have just put a third axle on there. And they said, you know, people say, oh, well, it's, it's to spread out the, the load bearings. Just put another axle on then. And that'll make it even easier on the load bearing. Just, just having four more wheels. You know, there's nothing wrong with having a tri axle trailer. Beep, beep to break these apart. I can't get out. Yes, weird, interesting physics. Uh, but anyways, yes. Also, it's super wide. <laughs> so we're going to bridge this last bit of broken road. Smash the front axle in. And here it is, slightly frosted over. Not at a jaunty angle yet. No doubt when I get a bit closer, it'll do some weird stuff. Oh my god, look, it's so wide. It's so wide. Oh, it's gonna go through this uh, barrier. Whoopsie. Oh dear. Yes, I, it's, I mean, European design philosophy for trailers is not just to have the wheels at the back. Uh, because it's, it, it increases the turning radius uh, significantly. So if they were to, so European trailer, if you, if you aren't aware, you know, it's kind of like the side bed, semi, uh, regular side, semi flatbed trailers, where that rear axle would just be further forward, uh, tucked next to the what is the front axle for the trailer. God, this trailer's massive. Having the wheels not more to the middle, but on the on the rear. At the beginning of the last quarter of the length of the trailer, if that makes any sense, uh, makes it a bit easier for you know not just like scraping the ground with the trailer, not bottoming out or bellying or grounding, whatever whatever people want to call it. 
But I don't know, I, I imagine trailers like this are fairly common in North America. They're pretty much not a thing, uh, at least in the UK. I haven't seen anything like this in Europe. It just, it just looks, to me, it just looks odd. That's, that's it really, it just looks so strange. I mean, maybe, maybe hitched onto a, a Western Star 49X or a, a Ford CLT, it might be all right, but they're not particularly wide trucks. I feel like the trailer is just too wide. That's a nice drift. And you can definitely get more than five cargo on here. So, I mean, you've got the, the step to deck at the front which that could be one and then easily five on the lower bit and said no five cargoes only three trailers in fact there are four trailers that can do five slots of cargo where in reality they can all do a bit more the ones locked in more to five slots are the blue semi trailers but the high saddle one and this one should definitely do more than five but, I don't know, it's probably a balance thing. Great. Right. Way to add less variety. There we go, right. Oh, yeah, that's that's gone. Right, so spin it around. And I'm going to head to... by the lake. So I will see you in that map. Okay, so we're in by the lake, which is still not sitting well. Um, we're doing the movie star So we've got to take this trailer that I've basically got to turn around. I Wonder who's inside it. I Mean ideally nobody right now because I'm moving it, but oh, this is this is what I was saying the uh, the axle layout This is more like a European layout For smaller areas but yeah, we're shifting this to do, 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 the town movie set, as it says in the top right. So I mean, this I mean, it's fairly simple, really, isn't it? Oh, it's uh, it's just it just involves driving on the road, like a lot of the missions do. It's really not that much uh, off-road driving so far, but there are still a lot of locked missions. So it could all change. So I don't think this is too heavy. I mean, I'm hauling it at a fair speed. Pretty much regular speed. Regular uh, fourth gear driving speed for the Voron Grad. So it doesn't seem to be too bad at the moment. How nice it is inside. Pro Ooh, can I use the photo mod to get inside? Uh, oh, it's empty. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, it's got a spare wheel. Oh, not one that I can use, though. Boo. It'd be nice if more trailers had uh, a few repair parts and such. Doesn't have to have fuel, but, you know, like... 50 to 100 repair parts just to get you going again if you if you mess things up. So that's normally what's in the boxes and things on other big trailers. I mean, it's like uh, cargo straps and things, but bits of spares and whatnot. Couldn't hurt. So that is where we're going, actually. The same as in that screenshot. Lots of solar panels. Very, very, very eco-friendly. Fire extinguisher hanging off the back. It's not good outside if there's, if there's a fire inside. All right, we'll make this dodgy corner. There we go, perfect. Just as intended. I'm, I think this is the only trailer of its kind in this map. So it's not like you have to... Oh, well, unless it comes up again, actually. It might well do that you have to ferry this trailer 
across to the different sets. Uh, the different movie sets, because there are, what, there's the town, there's a wasteland, there's a ship one. That's just off the top of my head. So yeah, you, you might have to <laughs> move them around. Right, should we have a, should we have a go at this? Oh, they've put the barriers back up. Boo. Right, I'll just gently drive through them. No bother. Yeah, there we go. Easy as pie. It's the Embero Pictures. Okay. Right. Um. Yeah, it's just a. It's a sim simple drive, really. No, nothing. I mean, what else do you say when you're just driving up a, a paved road? It's not like, oh, look, look how the Voron has dealt with this incredible weight on this paved road. Well, there's the delivery point. So is this going to be, oh, we're going to get, are we going to get a movie grade cutscene? Will it be deployed? Will the awning be extended? I mean, we're not going to see anybody. There are no, there are no people. There's a, well, there's one person in this game. It's there. Maybe it's a SnowRunner film. Maybe that's what's being filmed. The SnowRunner cinematic universe has been started. And there's a film about hauling stuff around a film set. Because it's, cause it's really meta like that. I think I actually <laughs> said that in episode two. Uh, I think we can go up here. And then a left. See, why we should have a thing of moving all these green screen panels into place Use, using that really big crane we were given. Oh, oh, it does actually. The awning does come out. Nice. Ah, oh, well then. Well, I think that's where we will leave it for today. Just a, an easy one compared to last time. Just taking a time. So uh, join me next time as we continue to frolic around. We might take some cargo up the uh, up the hill, up the mountain there. But we'll have to wait and see. So I want to thank you all very much for watching. I've been Deck. This has been SnowRunner in Scandinavia. And have a great day.